my dear friends and welcome to today's class. It's our second lesson on the topic compound proportions and rates of work. So today we are looking at a past KCC question which was done in 2013, paper 2, question number 10. So this is our second example because we had example 1 in our previous lesson. So the question reads that two taps A and B can each fill an empty tank in 3 hours and 2 hours respectively. So the first thing we can just have our simple sketch here. So I can have my tank here. So we are told that we have two taps. We have tap A. We also have tap B, uh, which can fill an empty tank in three and two hours respectively. So tap A takes a time of three hours, while tap B takes a time of uh, two hours to fill an empty tank. Then we have a drainage tap R, which can empty the full tank in six hours. So suppose this is our tank. We have another tank, tap R, which is emptying within a time of six hours it empties a full tank so we are told that tap a and r are open for five hours so the first thing let's find the rate for each tap so remember from a previous class we did say that rate is given by work done divided by the time therefore the rate for tap a running alone so the rate for tap a will be given by the work done by tap a divided by the time taken to do that work by tap a so remember the rate you take the initial. Huh? So we are told that tap A and B can fill an empty tank. So they are doing the whole work. So tap A can, can fill an empty tank. So the total work done in that case is, should be 1 because the, tap, the, the tank was initially empty divided by the time that it takes is actually 3 hours. Then we also have tap B. Tap B can also fill an empty tank in 2 hours. So work done will be the that is the rate will be work done by tap b divided by the time taken for it to do the work that is for tap b so tap b can fill an empty tank so if the tank if the tank was initially empty then tap b is filling it it means the total work that it has to do is the whole work which is one divided by the time that it does that work within a time of two hours then the rate for tap r uh, we shall take the work done for tap r divided by the time taken for it to do that particular work. So the work done for tap R, remember tap R now is emptying or it is draining a full tank. So a drainage tap R uh, can empty a full tank. So if we are talking of a full tank, it means the total work done is one because it is emptying a tank that was initially full of water. So if it's removing all the water from it, it is doing the total work, which is emptying that particular tank within a time of six hours within a time of six hours so those are the rates for each tank or for each pipe or tap so then we are told that tap a and r are open for five hours so let's find their rate first of all when they are working for five hours so the rate for we are told that tap a and tap r so we'll find the rate for tap a and for tap r which will be equal to Tap A, remember tap A was filling the tank, therefore its rate will be positive. So the rate for tap A is actually a third. So it is a third or we, sh we shall simply take the rate for tap A plus the rate for tap R, which is equals to the rate for tap A is a third, then plus the rate for tap R was actually, uh, the rate for tap R was 1 over 6. The rate for tap R is <coughs> 1 over 6, but because tap R was emptying or draining the tank, we said that if it is emptying, the rate will always be uh, negative. That is, we'll subtract the rate. So this will give us a total of, this will give us uh, 1 over 3, 1 over 3 plus minus, uh, plus minus 1 over 6, we'll simply get a sixth. So the rate when A and R are running is actually 1 over 6. Then we are told that, Tap A and R are open for five hours. So the time that they are running, the time that tap A and R were open to run was actually, we are told, it is uh, they were running for five hours. Now, remember here, we now have the rate, we, then we have the time. So from this formula, from the formula of rate is equals work done over time, once we have the rate and the time, we can easily find the work that the two taps have already done. So... From the formula, the rate, the rate of work being done by tap A and tap R is equals to the work done by tap A and tap R divided by the time taken for tap A and tap R to do that particular work. So the rate for tap A and um, tap R, we have found it as 1 over 6, so just substitute. 
So 1 over 6 is equals to the work done for tap A and R. We don't have it. So the work done by tap A and tap R divided by the time that they did that work we are given as 5 hours because they worked for 5 hours before they were crossed. So to find uh, the work done by A and R, we'll simply multiply both sides by 5. So that will be 1 over 6 times 5, which gives us uh, 5 over 6. So in short, this is the fraction, the fraction of the tank, the fraction of the tank that was filled, filled by the taps, the taps A and R. So taps A and R working alone, they filled 5 over 6 of that particular tank. Then in part A, they have asked us, our, they've asked us to determine the fraction of the tank that is still empty. So remember, if they are filling that particular tank, A is filling and R is emptying. So the fraction that is still empty is actually the work that has not yet been done or the remaining amount of work. So tap A and R have filled up to this point, that is 5 over 6 of the tank. So the remaining uh, work to be done will simply subtract the 2. So we are asked to determine the fraction of the tank that is still empty. So uh, fraction, fraction of the tank, of the tank that is empty, that is empty, will simply be given by total fraction or total work that was there to be done minus the work that has been done, that uh, is done by tap A and tap R. So which is simply equal to the total work is always 1. The work that has already been done, remember tap A and R have filled 5 over 6 of the tank. So that is the work that has already been done. So minus 5 over 6. So that now the remaining, uh, remaining fraction, remaining fraction uh, of the tank, of the tank, uh, or simply the empty, empty, empty fraction of the tank, fraction uh, of the tank, empty fraction of the tank will be given by 1, 1 minus uh, 5 over 6, which is just the same as saying 6 over 6 minus 5 over 6, which gives us 1 over 6. So this is the fraction of the tank that is still empty. So that was part A. Then we move to part B. So part B, they are asking us to find how long it will take to fill the remaining fraction of the tank if all the if all the three taps are open. So because they are talking of all the three taps, let's find their rate. So the rate for all the three taps, that is for tap A, when they are all running, uh, comma, tap B, and tap R, when they are all running, we'll simply take the rate for tap A plus rate for tap B plus rate for tap R which will be equal to the rate for tap A when it's running alone. Its rate was uh, a third from here. The rate for tap A was a third. Then plus the rate for tap B was um, 1 over 2. Then plus the rate for tap R. Remember tap R was empty, so its rate we usually subtract. So that will be negative. The rate for tap R was 1 over 6, so we subtract 1 over 6. So this one we are subtracting because it is empty. But for the because the first two taps are filling, that is tap A and B, we add their rates. So the total rate when they are all working, that is when tap A, B, and R are working, will simply be given by, so I'll take a third, then plus a half, then plus minus 1 over 6, which gives me 2 over 3. So this will give me 2 over 3. So this is the rate when all the three taps are working. Then remember from up here, we have the fraction of the work that is remaining to be done. So they're asking us how long. Remember how long simply refers to time. So they want us to find the time that they will take to do the remaining amount of work. So again, from our formula, the rate of work is equal to the work done over the time taken. So the rate of work for A, uh, B, and tap R to fill the remaining fraction of the tank will be the work, the remaining work, which is just the work that will be done by tap A, uh, comma, tap B, and tap R, divided by the time taken by tap A, tap B, and tap R. So we just substitute the values. 
So the remaining work to be done is actually a sixth of that particular tank. So we'll say uh, then the rate when they are working, uh, when all the taps are working, will simply be equal to their rate is 2 over 3. So I'll say 2 over 3 must be equal to the work that they have to do is the remaining work, which is actually uh, 1 over 6 is equals to 1 over 6 divided by the time that tap A, B, and R will work in order to fill that tank. If I do cross multiplication, I'll have two, uh, the time for A, B, and R being equal to 1 over 6 times uh, 1 over 6 times 3, which is simply equal to uh, 3 over 3 over 6, which is equal to 1 over 2, which is equal to a half. Now I have 2, I have 2, the time for A, B, and R to fill the tank being equal to a half. So if I want to remain with uh, to make T, A, B, and R the subject, I'll simply multiply both sides by a half, or I simply divide both sides by 2, divide by 2, which is just the same as a half, divided by 2, which will, which is the same as saying the time for A, uh, B, and R will simply be equal to, so I'll have um, a half multiplied by the reciprocal. Remember 2 is just the same as uh, 2 over 1, so the reciprocal is a half, which is equal to 1 over 4, then remember this is time. The time from the question was always given in hours. So this must also be in hours. This must also be in hours. So that is the time that it will take to fill the remaining fraction of the tank. So the time taken, the time taken will simply be equal to 1 over 4 hours. So that is the time taken to fill the remaining fraction of the tank. Alternatively, you can also convert this one maybe into other some other values so 1 over 4 is just the same as so if you want to express it in terms of time you simply press this simple here you press this simple once so this one means 0 hours 15 minutes 0 seconds so you can talk of a quarter an hour or you can also say which is equal to so we have seen this is 0 hours 15 minutes 0 seconds which is equal to 15 minutes it will take 15 minutes to fill the remaining fraction of the tank. Then um, question 2, we have another example 3 here, which is also a past case question done in 203, paper 2, question number 13. So the question reads that a machine A can do a piece of work in 6 hours, while a machine B can do the piece of work in 9 hours. So we just find the, the rate. Remember we say the rate is work done over the time taken. So let's start by machine A. So the rate for machine A will simply be equal to the work done by machine A divided by the time for machine A. So machine A and do can, a, a can do a piece of work in six hours. So of course the work done is one, that is the total work divided by six. So that is the rate for machine A. Then while machine B can do the same work in nine hours, so the same work. So the rate for machine B is equal to the work done for machine B divided by the time for machine B, which is equal to the work done is 1, because we are talking of the same work. We are talking of the same amount of work, divided by the time it is taking 9 hours. So that is its rate. Then after that, we are told that machine A was set to do a piece of work, uh, but after 3 and a half hours, it broke down. So let's find the amount of work that machine A did before it broke down, or the amount of work that it did in 3 and 3 hours, 1 over 2, in 3 whole number, 1 over 2 hours. So we know that the rate, so let's find the work that is done by machine A first before it broke down. So machine A, the, the rate for machine A is equal to the work done for machine A divided by the time uh, uh, that is taken to do that work for machine A. So the rate for machine A, we have already, already computed it as 1 over 6 being equal to the work done by machine A, we don't know the work done, divided by the time taken to do that work, we are told that machine A was set to do a piece of work, but after three and a half hours. So the time that it takes to do the, the work that we don't know is three and a half hours. So divided by three and a half hours. So this is just the same as saying uh, one over six is equal to the work done by machine A divided by so this is a uh, 6 plus 1, 7. This is 7 over 2. So if I want to find the work done by machine A, I'll simply multiply both sides by 7 over 2. 
So I'll have 1 over 6 multiplied by 7 over 2, which will give us the work done being equal to, so this is 7 over 12. So this will give me 7 over 12. So the work done, it broke down and the machine B did the rest of the work. So find how long it will take machine B to do the rest of the work. So the work that has already been done is um, 7 over 12. So let's find the remaining, the remaining work, the remaining work that has to be done. We we'll just take the total work, total work minus the work done. Total work minus the work that has already been done. So this will give us, the total work is 1. The work that has uh, already been done is 7 over 12. 7 over 12. So the remaining amount of work that has to be done is simply 1 minus, 1 minus 7 over 12. So this is the remaining amount of work that has to be done. So the remaining work is 5 over 12. That is the remaining work. So the work that was done within um, 3 and a half hours was actually 7 over 12. Therefore, the remaining work is 5 over 12. Then we are told that it broke down and the machine B had to, uh, that is, that is machine, that is A was said to do a piece of work. But after 3 and a half hours, it broke down and the machine B did the rest of the work. Found, find how long machine B took to do the rest of the work. So the remaining work was done by machine B. And we already have the, the, the remaining fraction of the work, which is 5 over 2. So we'll simply say the rate for machine B must be equal to the work for machine B divided by the time for machine B to do that work. So the rate for machine B, we already have it, which was uh, 1 over 9. So we'll say 1 over 9 is equal to the work that has to be done by machine B is simply the remaining work, which is uh, 5 over 12. So it's equals to 5 over 12, then divided by the time taken by the machine B to do that work. So I'll simply cross multiply so that I have 1 multiplied by the time for machine B being equal to 5 over 12 multiplied by 9, multiplied by 9. So this will simply uh, give me, so this will give me, so I have uh, 5 over 12 multiplied by 9, which will give me uh, 3 whole number, 3 over 4. So this gives me 3 whole number. That is, time taken by machine B to complete the work is 3 whole number, 3 over 4. Then in this question, the time was given in um, hours. The time was always in hours. So these are 3 whole number, 3 over 4 hours. So that is the amount of time that is required to complete that piece of work. You can also express it in terms of um, other values. You just press here once. So it took 3 hours 45 minutes. So the time taken, find how long it will take machine B to do the rest of the work. So uh, the time taken, time taken by machine B, time taken by machine B to complete, to complete the work, to complete the work will simply be equal to 3, 3 hours, 3 over 3, 3 over 4 hours. Or you can also talk of 3 hours, 3 hours, 45 minutes, 3 hours, 45 minutes. So thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy.